today is a quick tip for you guys for all video creators. If you are making any sort of video content and you're using both visual assets and audio assets, you're gonna like today's video. It's gonna help because it's either one of those tips that you, you either learn from editing a ton of videos and kind of seeing what works or, or someone tells you about it. Maybe you watch a video on YouTube where, where someone tells you about it. And it's called the one frame rule. I've also heard it called the visual first rule, but I like calling it the one frame rule. So that's what we're gonna call it today. And the one frame rule is, it's a rule that, that all content creators should, should just know about. Before we jump into it though, a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video and just supporter of this channel in general, and that is uh, Cuts Clothing. You guys have heard me talk about Cuts Clothing a ton because my wife thinks that I look good in these shirts, so that's the main reason I wear them, but I also wear them because I can wear them super casually or I could wear them out to dinner with my wife and uh, no one cares. Everyone just thinks, yeah, it's totally normal that he's wearing a t-shirt because it looks good. I have to say it's made my life quite easy, but something that Morgan has, has been begging for and they finally did it, Cuts just released women's clothing. They released their first, I think it's two styles of shirt, but in two styles for each shirt. So I think it's four shirts total, obviously a bunch of different colors. Just dropped, I think two, day, two days ago, what's today? Two days ago, they launched their women's clothing line. You should check it out. If you are a woman and you follow this channel and you hear me talk about Cuts all this time, uh, now Cuts is making clothes for you too. Tune over to the first link in the description, CutsClothing.com. Use my code for a discount and, and check them out. If you don't believe me about Cuts, get a, a black Henley, the, the one with the three buttons, short sleeve black Henley. Uh, tell me that it's not maybe the best shirt you've ever had. Okay, the one frame rule. What is it and why, why is it so important? It's not one of those huge things that's gonna drastically change your video. It's one of those small things that, that sometimes you can't put your finger on, but when someone does it right, you don't even notice it. And when they do it wrong, you kind of go, I don't know what it is, but something's wrong with that. Whether it's the audio or the visual, something's off and the one frame rule it deals with both so basically what the one frame rule is is how we line up our visual assets and our audio assets so for instance if i was talking about this camera this is the the sony zv e10 that i'm reviewing video on this coming soon but if i was to say to you this camera is 24 megapixels and it costs 798 dollars the one frame rule would say that 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 pop sound that you heard when, when 24 megapixels popped on the screen or that cash register sound that you heard when, when $798 popped on the screen, the visual text should come on one frame before that audible pop or that, that cash register sound. So as you're lining things up in Premiere Pro or Final Cut or whatever software you're using, instead of just taking the audio asset and the visual asset and lining them up perfectly, or even worse, if the audio was to come in before the visual, let's let's hear that just so you can see how awkward that is. Uh, this is the Sony ZV-E10. It is 24 megapixels and it costs $798. Now I'm no scientist, I, I don't know why, I don't know that I can explain to you exactly why it is, but something about that feels weird. When the audio comes in first, but then we see it, it, it seems like there's a delay, something feels off. But when the visual comes in first, it feels right. Like for some reason, even lined up doesn't feel right. When you bump the, the visual one frame before the audio, uh, everything just sounds better. It feels better. That's the best way to say it. It feels better. And when you do this right, you almost don't notice that it's even a thing. And if you do it wrong, you you very much feel like something's wrong. And this doesn't just apply to, to like when I put one thing on the screen, it also applies to fast cut edits to music, which is something that I really like doing. So I did this with the EcoFlow video, the, the big battery bank that I just reviewed, the one that's powering the van right now. Let's look at the very beginning of the EcoFlow video real quick, just a couple of quick chops, and then and then we'll look where the cut is. So here, here's the beginning of that video. Here's what that looked like. Okay, so some fast cuts in there, but let's, let's zoom in and actually see where those cuts are. So if I zoom all the way in here, I can see in my timeline here in the, the audio, the song here, here's the beat, like that right there. Boom, that's the beat. Right there is the peak. I can see the peak right there and the peak right there. 
but if you see where my marker is and where my actual clip comes in at, it's one frame before the beat. So every single beat where it goes, duh, 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 I find that beat and then I go one frame before it and I put a marker right there because I know that I want my visual to happen first and then I want the audio to hit. And it's not by much, it's, it's again, just one frame, but it's enough to, to really change the feel. I'm gonna switch this up real quick and then I will play for you what it's like if I do not do one frame before, I'm gonna do it right on the thing and, and we'll, see, we'll see how different that feels for you. So here it is, totally matched up. Here is the visual and audio at the exact same time. Check it out. How did that feel? It, it wasn't that it was bad, but it doesn't feel as smooth. It doesn't feel as, as quick. I, there's something that just doesn't feel synced up. One more time, here it is with the one frame rule in effect. Here is the visual cue happening before the audio. Again, by just one frame. Ah, I know, it's so, it seems so subtle. It seems like, what a small thing to do to, to move everything one frame but it makes a massive difference. And you should use that. You should do that for anything that you are making where the audio and visual cues are, are kind of working off of each other. Use the one frame rule, make your videos better. And that's it for today. That's all I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope this makes your videos better. Just little things to think about. As you guys are making videos, there's there's like a thousand little things that take your video from, from yeah, it was pretty good to like, Oh, that was really good. And the, the one frame rule is one of them. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, hit that like button below. Super helpful for me. Maybe you share this video with a friend. That is also very, very helpful. Comment below. Let me know, have you been using the one frame rule or is this something that, that you are then going to use? What did you think about the, the kind of before and after with and without the one frame rule? And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Oh, also this video coming soon. This is a... This is a surprising camera. I I have thoughts about this camera. I'll see you soon.